Well, I never thought I'd be at, back at this place, but uh, we are back at Edinburgh Manor, the haunted insane asylum in Iowa. Just like 15 minute drive from my mom's place. So I'm gonna show you some places that I didn't get to show you very well in the last video that I did of this place. So we're going down to the creepy basement. So this is the basement. Me and my sister With the um, name, the name door, if that's what you want to so gracefully call it. Um, down there's um, it smells bad down here too. It smells like mold. Over here and of course the boiler room. Except uh the boiling room. Here's the light. Looks like a Freddy Krueger or something. Apparently this is the room where someone got something like a cup thrown at them. Kind of wish we would have gotten something thrown at us because then we would have had evidence some of something. This is the cafeteria that do stuff. I think most um, of this video is going to be the basement because I just don't have very much memory left on my phone. So, unfortunately. So the dining room, my least favorite place of all. Never liked it in here. I've been here, this is my third time here, and I've never liked it down here, especially this dining room. Um, part of the kitchen should show you the padded room, which is down this hall, this little short hallway. So this was the padded room. If you don't know what that is, it's where they would lock patients if they were out of control or trying to hurt themselves. And we'll go back upstairs. So here's the stairway to upstairs. Oh, that's that's downstairs. I think. This is the second floor. All right. So here's the second floor, which is the very top floor. It's not too bad in here during the day. This is supposed to be a super haunted room. The one of the owners stayed the night here, laid in this bed and felt something touching his foot. So that's fun. <laughs> so. And of course, you can't have Edinburgh without the creepy dolls. Here's the purple room, which is another room that's supposed to have a lot of paranormal activity in it. It's freaking hot in here. So, here's the woman's ward. It's also one of the creepiest places. Here's one of the bigger bedrooms in the woman's ward. There's the rec room, the men's ward bedroom, big bedroom, and the suicide room where someone committed suicide on that doorknob. And this is the suicide room where right there. And now we're going into the attic, which is another very creepy place. So, up is that there. Mickey Mouse always sitting right there? Yeah. This is the attic. Can't see it's up kinda here. It's kind of dark up here. But, yeah. yeah. Last so night, this, uh, uh light turned on and we didn't turn it on. Rusty's this room. Rusty's Apparently room. no one likes going in there because it's supposed to be creepy. <laughs> and then down here is just another one of those really big, um, common room yeah, things. I kind of like these big spacious rooms. So it's so get lots of, room. get lots of light but in here. It's very windy outside. So this is the safe room. This is like the sunroom. Come have your morning coffee out here. Just chilling here. And the rec room with a functioning pool table. So, 
so yeah. We spent the night here last night, by the way. This is our second time spending the night here. And let me tell you, this place is scary at night. It is not a fun place to spend the night, but I am proud to say that I have accomplished it. <laughs> All right, and that is uh, Edinburgh for you. It's a really cool place, actually, so yeah.